This is a new building in Sao Paulo I visited recently and I decided to do a, a video on it because the location is, is really good. Uh, one of the best in Sao Paulo and also the leisure areas is the most complete I've seen so far. This one for example has uh, three gyms, two indoor and one outdoor, a very complete uh, gourmet uh, party area with, uh, with a lounge bar and barbecue area and it goes outside where there's a big screen as well. Another thing about this building is that uh, the uh, bottom three floors is reserved for hotels. So if you buy this as an investment, uh, it would be very easy for them to handle everything, check in, check out, cleaning, uh, repairs in your apartment if you want that. So uh, this is very, uh, we'll look at these uh, lacet areas or these uh, leisure areas in the end of uh, the video. But let's see the presentation. So let's, uh, that was the presentation, let's look a little bit at the plans. This is the smallest apartment, this is uh, 21.63 square meters. And uh, you can skip this part if you don't want to want to see the whole video, but I took a video inside the decoration where they uh, already put furniture in as a demo apartment, so you can see what it looks like. Um, so this is a studio apartment. Uh, there's only one room in here, so the bed is in the living room, basically. As we go around here, you can see that they made uh, the furniture really open uh, so that it doesn't take up much space. You would probably have some, uh, some cabinet doors on, on these things. As you can see, this wall here, there will actually be a door there. Now let's go and have a look here in the in the bathroom. All these things there will there will be a sink here, but it won't be this uh, sink you see here. They use some expensive materials here, and instead of that net there by the shower, you would put a, a glass door probably. Um, but they uh, made the design very open like this to to make it look bigger than than it actually is. So you would probably choose some some other design. Uh, but there's room for everything here. There's a small uh, office space there with a screen next to it. You can use with your computer or you can uh, watch TV from the bed. And here they actually included the balcony. So you see the, uh, the gray wall that's here. That's, uh, there will be a door there, but you can take that away, include the balcony here and make your living space uh, bigger because there's so many leisure areas in this apartment that uh, you don't really you don't really need a balcony. Uh, there's a rooftop uh, pool as well, so you can go there and have an even better uh, view. So this was a small unit, 21 square meters. This is another uh, uh, studio, but it's a little bit bigger, 26 square meters. There wasn't any demo apartment for that. 
Uh, what you can also do is put two studio apartments together. This is one of the options and this is an, another one. And then you'll go to 43 square meters. Uh, but there is one, this is the one already uh, put together. And this is 42 square meters. This is the, the bigger unit they have here. One of the biggest units that's ready. The other one, the small one, would be really great for renting out uh, temporarily. And this other one, the bigger one, is more for living, I would say. It's cool, you can see how they uh, put mirrors up on the end wall here to make it look not, not as cramped as it otherwise would. And here, um, yeah, the TV is... It's really cool actually you can swing it around so you can watch it from the living room and also from the the bedroom yeah and they made the closet like that so you can see through it to like see all of the space you have but you would probably want a, a closed one the bathroom area is actually uh, pretty cool. It's a very nice size. This is a very common size for these apartments. And uh, it's basically what, what you need here. There's some uh, signs here uh, telling you that uh, all of the interior in this apartment, you won't receive it like this. This is just a demo apartment. So you won't receive it with all these uh, furniture in it like this ready you'll need to finish it yourself but you can put your own design on it and here is room for a really big complete kitchen so that is uh, that's very nice they all, always use these american style kitchens right now there's even room for an oven and a dishwasher and a, a wine cooler there in the end but here we're actually standing on the balcony um, the wall you saw before, we're just standing there right now. When I turn around, you can see it more clearly. So this is actually part of the balcony that will come as a standard. And here they put the table and they put some uh, wine rack there. You can see the, with the gray wall there where the door will be. So this is actually a, a huge balcony, but they made it into an, like a dining area and has put a small office here outside. And you can do the same, you can put uh, glass around this area and then uh, you can include it in your living space. I think this is the part you wouldn't include with glass because that's for the aircon, is my guess. And there's the windows to the, to the bedroom. Yeah, so this is where the door would go when you receive the unit. Close by, there's uh, uh, 10 minutes down Rue Augusta, where this is located. There's a newly renovated park called uh, Park Augusta. There's some, uh, and it's a really cool park. Uh, it has a lot of slack line, a uh, place to put your hammocks, playground, exercise equipment, a lot of benches, these pet places for your dog to work out. There's a lot of guards. Uh, it's open every day from five in the morning till nine in the evening. And it's really nice to have this leisure area outside as well because Sao Paulo is mostly buildings and traffic. And this is uh, just 10 minutes away by foot. Another thing that's really good and uh, that uh, also goes together with the perfect location. There's two metro stations uh, within just uh, 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 a few minutes walk. This is one of them, Consola Sound. Uh, located on Avenida Paulista and this every Sunday Avenida Paulista is one of the biggest roads in uh, Sao Paulo it's six lanes I think a lot of traffic here during the week but every Sunday from 9 uh, a.m. to 4 p.m. they close down the street for traffic so you can go here go on your bike uh, go here there's a lot of food and snacks and drinks and a lot of artists are performing here and it's all for free not the food, of course, or the drinks, but you can bring your own if you want to. And then listen to all these artists singing or doing acrobatics or, or there are clowns. There are all kinds of music. It's, it's really cool and it's every Sunday. 
and you can bike uh, back and forth on, on this street as well. And this is just a four minute uh, walk uh, away. And this is the center of the business area of Sao Paulo. Everybody knows this street in Sao Paulo. So uh, this, uh, it, the location here is really cool. Down the uh, Rua Augusta where the apartment is located, there's a lot of restaurants and bars there. So it's very safe at night. You can walk out, go to a club or a bar or an eatery. And, uh, and you have everything outside. There's so much of all the good of Sao Paulo is here. And plus, this is a very uh, well-known place for, for businessmen. If you're renting out, uh, you'll be able to get a higher rent here for your, uh, for your unit. And also, it'll be easier to, to rent it out to people coming uh, temporarily here, um, either for work or, or for leisure. So I just wanted to say the cheapest unit, the, the, the studio apartments in, uh, in this building is uh, 300,000 uh, reais. building has 20 floors. Later after this we'll see the go into a little bit more details with some photos of the uh, leisure areas you saw on the video just for you to see how, how complete it actually is. It's, it's quite amazing. I would love to have a unit in this uh, building. Yeah, so here's the first leash area. That's with a big outdoor screen uh, and some uh, sitting arrangement here. This is the lounge bar uh, just inside from where you saw the screen uh, before. And this is private for you. This is part of the gourmet party area inside and they also have outside um, where you can have your parties. Here's the indoor part where you, a partly indoor part where you have the barbecue area as well. So uh, this, is, uh, this is really cool. You can have a big party here and they can be both outside by the screen and inside. Uh, so this is, this is really cool. Then you can have your bike here for when you go on these Sunday rides on Avenida Paulista. Um, and here's the co-working, the common co-working with a very nice view. It also has outside, but I don't have pictures of that. But it's a really big co-working and it also includes some other uh, private offices. Here's uh, one of the indoor uh, gyms and you can see there's some sitting areas outside as well. Uh, here's a, a yoga studio, also indoor. And uh, here's the outdoor kind of like a CrossFit uh, like gym if you'd like to do some exercise outdoor. So this is a very nice gym area. Here's the herb garden where all the residents can go and pick herbs and there's also a few hammocks here. And there's a pet uh, place where you can take your, your dog here. 12 industrial machines in the laundry and here's the, the game room. There's a foosball table, there's a screen, you can play some poker in the back. There's a, a pool table as well and there's some board games here that you can play with your friends. It's really, really cool. And of course the best, the outdoor pool with these uh, cabanas, this is rooftop and they also have a bar area here if you want to do an event here. This looks like a club, I really, uh, I would get the unit just, just for this leisure area, it's really cool. <laughs> 